Brothers and sisters, Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us tawfiq of iman, believing in Allah. He has given us the guidance that you, we are here in this world for a very short period of time to prepare ourselves to go to Jannah, to meet Allah, to get paradise from Him. All these needed good knowledge of our Islam, our religion. And that's why talabul ilmi faridatun ala kulli muslim. Learning the knowledge of the religion is compulsory upon every Muslim. H up to what extent? When we, our parents sent us to the masjid, to the maktab, to the katatib, to learn some very basic primary knowledge, many people will be limiting themselves with that amount of knowledge in primary stage. And when he'll be growing up, going to college, university, and further level of his, uh, uh, you know, family life, his life of the business, job, etc. At that time, they have no time, no importance of continuing the journey of the knowledge. They'll be only depending what they learn in the primary stage in their life. This is very small knowledge. One will be dying with this knowledge. He'll be missing many of the important tasks in his life. Once you're growing up, once you're going to business, is it halal or haram to learn that it's far of obligatory for us? How much money I earn, then I need to pay zakah. This is uh, to know that it's far of. When I must go to Hajj, it is obligatory upon me to know that it's far as well, as well. So we continue improving knowledge. When I'm single man, yes, something. Uh, a bit uh, within me. But once I got married, I'm going to getting married. I need to know more. What is the duty and obligation of the marital life? What is my uh, right upon, uh, what is my duty towards my wife? What is wife's duty towards her husband? I know everybody is very concerned for their right. They are willing to fight for their right. But they will not ask, what is my duty towards you? The ilm, the knowledge of the deen will tell you if you don't do your duty as a husband to your wife, you'll be answerable to Allah. If you don't do your duty to your husband, the wife, you'll be answerable to Allah. We need to know that. When we're getting children, family, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Nara. Protect yourself and your family from a fire. I need to bring up my children according to the guidance of Allah and His Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I need to have that enough knowledge. Yes, good enough. You send your child to uh, the masjid, to the madrasa, uh, you appoint a teacher, not enough. The limited time, they'll be doing the limited things. Parents, father and mother are 24 hours almost their teacher. You learn, you practice, and they'll be learning from your practice. At home, it's based on Islamic knowledge. So that is our task, our duty. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa was continuously encouraging the, the companions to learn. Uqba ibn Amir radiallahu anhu said in one occasion, kharaja Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wa nahnu fi sufa, faqala ayyukum yuhibbu an yagdua kulla yawmin ila buthan aw ila al-aqiq, fa yaati minhu bi naqatayni kawma wayni fi ghayri ithmin wa laqatiyati rahim. فقلنا يا رسول الله نحب ذلك قال أفلا يغدو أحدكم إلى المسجد فيعلم أو يتعلم أو يقرأ آيتين من كتاب الله عز وجل خير له من ناقتين وثلاث خير من ثلاث وأربع خير له من أربع ومن آدادهن الإبل صحابي أخبى بن عامر رضي الله عنه يستلب إن دا صفا ين هوستل دوز هو um, bachelor Sahabis who migrated from Mecca to Medina, from other places to Medina. They don't have family. So they were uh, uh, living in a hostel adjacent to the property masjid, which is called Sofa. So he used to encourage them, motivate them to learn because they are free now. There is no family. They are only in the, around the masjid to learn from Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to push them further to learn and to wise, uh, not, utilize their time uh, he was uh, encouraging them in one occasion. Sahabi said, the Messenger of Allah came out and said to us, 
uh, when you were in living in this hostel, he said, which of you would like to go out every morning to Bhutan or Aqiq, the two valleys of Medina, which is a bit fertile and green, where people will take their cattle over there, who will go there every morning and bring two large she camels without being guilty of sin or without cutting the ties of kinship. That means every morning if you go there, you'll find two high quality camels free of cost. There is no problem, it is free, it is free. Who will be going if it is available every morning? The Sahabi said, we said, Messenger of Allah, of course, we would like to do it. Of course, if it is free, of course, so everybody of us is interested. Then he said, should I tell you something? Does not one of you, uh, does not uh, one of you go out in the morning to the mosque and teach or study two verses from the book of Allah? If any one of you go in the morning in the Masjid al Nawawi and you try to teach and learn at least two verses of the Quran, then it is better for him to get two free she camels. Learning or teaching two verses of the Quran, referring to the Islamic knowledge, is much better than getting two camels free. If you learn three verses or teach, better than you achieve uh, three camels. If you learn or teach four, then you are getting much more than four camels. And then he continues, he said, and they are number in camels. So this way he was encouraging them, and Sahaba, of course, were uh, always responding to his, his guidance. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even instructed the Prophet وسلم, to make dua to Allah to increase his knowledge. Waqur Rabbi Zidni Ilma. You say, Oh my Lord, increase me in knowledge. So all of us do dua. Rabbi Zidni Ilma, that's very good. But we just limit with the dua. Don't take any step to learn. No. Action should match that we are also trying to learn. Many of us learned only in primary level. In primary level. When you are going to secondary college, university level, not many people will be trying to learn more. While it should be continuing the journey of the knowledge. And uh, Umm Salama radiallahu narrates how Prophet وسلم, himself was doing dua to Allah to increase his knowledge. In the Nabi وسلم, kana yakul ba'da salati subh. He used to say every day after uh, his father's prayer until his death, he, every day he'll be making dua. Allahumma inni asaluk alman nafia. Wa Allah, I seek you, I ask you to grant me the alim which is beneficial. What is tayyiba and risk the sustenance which is good and pure. Wa amalan mutakabbala. Wa Allah grant me the deeds which will, will be accepted by you. So he continues with the dua. So alim is very important. It's, it's not nafal. Many people may think, I learn, I know how to pray, basic things, fine. If I can learn more, all this nafal. And, you know, uh, they don't consider it as farad. Many of the alim after that becoming farad. As I said earlier, then when you are single, after a certain extent, when getting married, then your, your level of knowledge should know about family life, husband, wife. Then you are getting children. Yes, we need to know what is the duty towards our children. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, He has given duty to each of other uh, uh, towards us. That husband will take his, uh, you know, uh, uh, doing his duty towards his wife, and wife will be taking uh, a responsibility or uh, her duty towards his, her husband. In, in the family life, many people are struggling. That is a test in the life, no doubt about this. But uh, many times, people will be fighting for their right. This is the slogan in the country. No, to fight, you, you, you cannot get the right. And that right is very bitter, even you get it. So we need to uh, know first our duty, right of others. This is number one. Then my right will come, inshallah, bismillah. So we need to uh, be aware when you get married, what is the duty in the family life? Getting children. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Who anfusakum wa ahlikum? Nara, make sure. 
that you will save yourself and your family from the hellfire. That requires the knowledge, how I give the right tarbiyah. Although you appoint a teacher for your son, for your daughter, going to the evening madrasa, going to the weekend Islamic school, you appointed a teacher, all this good contribution. But as a parents, you have this tarbiyah duty. They are giving, you know, education knowledge, but you give them tarbiyah, upbringing, according to Islamic adab and akhlaq, and that requires knowledge of you and your wife and your husband and wife, parents has to have learned how to give children right tarbiyah, right education, right understanding of the deen, and right adab, akhlaq, good manners to teach. They are the primary responsible, uh, primarily responsible, the teacher is having the secondary contribution. They are the main teachers. And that's why we will, we will be not limiting ourselves to send our children to the school. We need to learn continuously, continuously. Even our, our salah, we learn in the primary level, a little bit how to pray. But we need to know, know more, learning more fiqh. We need to understand the arcanal iman, tawhid and shirk. Many people are confused. We do many amal, some of the amal are sunnah, some of the amal are even bid'ah. During whole life, some amal, some of the good deed, some of the ibadah, based on Veda, nothing will be accepted by Allah. So that's why we need to continuously uh, improving our Islamic knowledge. In, about the Salah, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, Sallu kama ra'aytu minni usalli. You must pray the way you see me praying. You must learn properly. In the primary levels, knowledge of Salah is not enough. We are going to Hajj. Prophet وسلم, when he was performing his own Hajj, he was telling the different occasions to the Sahaba's gatherings. Take from me rights of the Hajj, how to perform the Hajj. Take from me, learn, learn, keep it. And then they will be conveying to the others. That's why don't go Hajj without attending the Hajj training sessions. Inshallah, we'll be announcing today again the Hajj training sessions taking place the, this weekend and next weekend. You must try to attend and uh, without learning properly, going to the Hajj is a big mistake. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have given so much. The more knowledge you have with practice of the knowledge, your status is becoming higher to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, Qul hal yastawi alladhina ya'alamuna wa alladhina la ya'alamun. O Prophet, you say, are those who know equal to those who do not know? Innama yatadhakkar ulul albab. Indeed, those who are people of understanding only, they only take the lesson that they come forward to learn. He also said, The one, is it not the one who uh, knows whatever is being revealed to you, the deen, the knowledge of the deen, the wahi of Quran and Sunnah, that this is the only truth. Those who know that Quran and Sunnah knowledge are the like, kaman hu ama, those who are blind. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made those who never bother to learn Islamic knowledge, he said them they are blind. And knowledge give you the real sight. You can see what is wrong, what is right. He also said in Surah Fatir, Ayah number 19 and 22, Not equal the blind and seeing. Nor are the darkness and the light. So Alim knowledge is light and jahal ignorant ignorance is darkness wala dhill wala alharur nor are the shade and the heat wama yastawi alahya wal amwat nor are the and not equal are the living and dead he's considering who has knowledge and they act upon the knowledge they are the people who are living and those never, uh, you know, 
take any responsibility, never continue given importance to increase their knowledge as if they are dead. Abu Darda radiallahu anhu is sahabi who learned from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, Man ra'al ghaddu ar rawaha fi talab al ilmi laysa bi jihad faqad naqasa aqluhu wa ra'ihu. If anybody doesn't consider in the morning or in the evening going to a masjid or somewhere to learn Islamic courses and knowledge and uh, increasing, if he doesn't consider it is, it, it is an act of jihad, فَقَدْ نَقَصَ عَقْلُهُ وَرَأْيُهُ In fact, his, his opinion and his, his sense <coughs> has deficiency. He's not perfect. His wisdom is so weak. Sahabi Mu'ad radiallahu anhu said, تَعَلَّمُ الْعِلْمُ فَإِنَّ تَعَلَّمَهُ لِلَّهِ خَشْيَةً Oh people, learn, continue to learn the knowledge. Learning knowledge of Allah brings you the fear of Allah. You'll be not doing injustice to your wife or your husband. You'll be doing your duty. You'll not cheat people. Khashia, fear of Allah, will increase in you. وَطَلَبُ عِبَادَ Even even seeking the knowledge itself is big ibadah. Appreciated by Allah. وَمُدَى رَسَطُهُ تَسْبِيحِ doing a study circle together, teaching each other. This is a study circle is like you're doing tasbih. And you are rewarded continuously. Well, bahthu anhu jihad. If you are searching a masala you don't know, reading and searching and searching more, then as if you are contributing in jihad. Ali radiallahu anhu said, guided us. If I ask you, you know, somebody, uh, do you continue to learn every day or every week, every month something? Do you attend any Islamic circle? You attend tafsir session, hadith session, fiqh session? So, oh brother, I have no time. I, my job is long hours. I have to run the business, nobody's there. Always many excuses. Yes, up to minimum, it is obligatory to learn for your maintenance, for your family maintenance, that's true. But beyond that, which one is better? Acquiring knowledge or acquiring wealth? Ali radiallahu says, Al-ilmu khayru min al-mal. The knowledge, the age much better than the wealth, if you gather. Al-ilmu yahrisika wa anta tahris al-mal. Ilm will guard you, will save you, will protect you. And you need to guard your wealth. Somebody may take your wealth. Wal-ilmu hakimun al-mal mahkumun alayhi. The knowledge is a ruler. And the wealth is the ruled one. The alim knowledge will tell the wealth what is in the wealth, how much zakat you need to pay, what is halal, this is haram money, all dictated. So the alim is much upper a position holder than the wealth. Wal malutun tasihun nafaka, wal ilmu yasku bin nafaka. The wealth will decrease if you are spending, but if you spend knowledge, it will not decrease, rather it will increase. You teach people more, mashallah, your knowledge will not come to decrease, rather it will increase. And we need to continue with this. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the that we continue in our journey of acquiring knowledge and inshallah matching with our practice as well. May Allah give us the tawfiq. Barakallahu li wa lakum fi al-Qur'an al-Azim wa nafa'ani wa iyaakum bima fihi min al-ayat wa dhikr al-Hakim wa aqul qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa lisa'idi muslimina min kuli dhambin fa astaghfiru wa tubi ilayhi innahu huwa al-Ghafur al-Rahim